Senator, today you call for a change in attitudes regarding the problems, societal attitudes regarding narcotics addiction and alcoholic addiction. What kind of change in attitudes are you talking about, sir? Well, I'm talking about really the moralistic attitudes that we have in relationship to chemical addiction. Chemical addiction is an illness, whether it's heroin addiction or whether it's alcoholism, and it should be treated as an illness. People shouldn't be condemned and damned and imprisoned for an illness that they can't help themselves, and as a result of that, we only make the illness worse rather than re leading the roads to recovery. It's going to take a massive public education program to do it. Today you said that there was an attitude, societal attitude, of shooting from the hip on the problem of marijuana and narcotics addiction. What do you mean by that? Well, the problem of marijuana has been viewed in uh, primarily the same scope as heroin addiction, and it, it certainly isn't. It doesn't belong in, in a relationship with heroin at all. Uh, the National Marijuana Commission found, as a matter of fact, that, uh, that alcohol was a much worse drug than marijuana. And my advice is that people read the report of the National Marijuana Commission, that they realize that, that basically, as near as we could tell, there is no uh, physical addiction. There is, in a rare instance, a psychological dependency created. Uh, there is uh, no relationship whatever to violent crime that we're able to determine. We were unable to determine that there was any, any relationship at all with progressing to other uh, drugs or narcotics from marijuana. These are the attitudes that I'm saying this commission that spent uh, uh, over a year's time in research and study of all the scientific knowledge that it could find in the world uh, have arrived at these conclusions, and I think society should adjust to them. But why do you think there's been no greater push from the local states for decriminalization of, of both alcohol addiction and, and narcotics addiction? Well, I think it's been basically because they've been poorly informed. Uh, uh, right now, we've arrived at a time when the Attorney General has recommended decriminalization, no longer jailing people who are alcoholics for simple drunkenness. The National Marijuana Commission has recommended removing the punitive aspects for a simple consumption of marijuana. I think once the educational program takes place that we can realize that in the case of marijuana, the imprisonment is much worse than the use of it. It does much more damage to the people involved. In the case of alcoholism, it does nothing to treat. It just hangs up the jails, the courts, and everything in the country and doesn't enable anyone to do anything about the problem. In your speech, you indicated that we should turn our concerns to the problems behind addiction and what caused the addiction. What do you think, from your extensive hearings, are the root causes of addiction in our society? Well, uh, the attitudinal developments of of our society uh, are, are developing uh, an atmosphere where chemical addiction is not only acceptable, but it is the thing to do. Our attitudes around alcohol, for one thing, have led attitudes toward other drugs and other narcotics uh, to be acceptable in pure cult groups. Also, the tremendously poor areas of this nation, the center cities, the areas that where houses are almost non-existent, where education is poor, where food is bad, uh, contribute people to use some method of escape. We've got to get behind the, the causes of addiction and do something about that. And I also happen to believe that it's the breakdown of the family structure in the country, the deterioration of the home, and as a result of that, we see an increased percentage of addiction.